Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. My name's Allison, and this is the Travel Snacks YouTube channel and live stream. Welcome everybody. Uh, you know, I can't see up close, so I need to put my glasses on. And let me just scroll up and see who's in the house, and check my messages real quick. All right, cool. Uh, so we have our OG moderator, Grant, in the house. And it's Snack Chat Friday, which is kind of a new thing. Um, if you're new here, Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, uh, using your resources. And maybe you want to live a different type of lifestyle, like living in a car, van, truck, tiny home, tent, RV, whatever you want to do. We're here for it. We're all here for it. And we're a very supportive crew, so if you're not already part of the snack pack, I mean, I'm going to give you a pass right now, but you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs> then you'll be part of the snack pack. And also throw a like on this live stream. That way YouTube will, you know, will know that you guys like these. All right, the wrench means that that's a moderator. Um, hey, Anthony, just finished snacking on ice cream. It's hot down here in Southwest Florida. Oh, I bet. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Janice and Crystal's in the house. Lunda lover. She loves Cam's in the house. You here for the mystery guest? I'm here for the mystery guest, too. Um, hey, Butterfly Tracks. Hey, Hope's in the house. Uh, hey, Deb from Kawartha Lakes, Ontario, Canada. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, good. I'm glad the notifications work. Uh, I set up a live stream earlier and then I just updated the title and then somehow it just like disappeared from YouTube. So I had to set up a new stream. Melon was tripping. I don't know what happened. Hey, Missy Light. How are you? We do have an awesome mystery guest today who I'm very excited about. Um, but we're going to talk for just a few minutes uh, before we bring this person on. Uh, hey, Thomas from Northern New York State. All right, so we're uh, usually we're doing live streams on Saturdays, then we move to Sundays, uh, and then we did it on Friday a couple weeks ago, and it was it was popping. Uh, and so I, I like to mix things up because not everybody can make it on certain days. So I like to make sure that everybody gets a chance to be included. So we're gonna try the Fridays for a while. Plus, it kind of frees up my weekend. You know, I like to take Saturdays off, and then Sundays just like maybe another day that I could just you know, do a light amount of work. Uh, so yeah, so I'm excited to try these Fridays. Hey, Judy from Chicago and Lynn and Judith from Michigan. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad to see everybody on here. Okay, so I am still in Colorado. I am actually in Fort Collins, Colorado now. So I think last time I was, I think last time we met on Sunday, I was in Loveland, Colorado, but I'm not sure. Maybe I was in Greeley. I can't remember. It seems like I've been all over the place and I just got to Fort Collins, I think yesterday. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. When you're on the road and you're going to different towns and stuff, it's, it just kind of like blends into each other. Um, let's see. Hey, Terry's Tenacious. Hey, how's it going? Uh, do some church on Sunday. Yes. Yes, church is great. I went to church with Lunda Lover last Sunday, which was awesome. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Lunda Lover, who's on the live right now, Karen. Uh, she was so gracious to invite me to her church, and it was awesome last week. And also, um, we had a nice lunch together, and she gave me a few gifts. And one of the gifts was Reese's Cups, which you guys know I'm a fan of that. And I was, I've been trying not to eat a lot of sweets, but... I put those straight in the freezer because you know it's the only way to eat Reese's Cups. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to eat these. And then don't you know, I think either last night or the night before, must have been the night before, I was like, let me just crack this open and have two little pieces. You know what I'm saying? So I did, and then I got a stomach ache. <laughs> but it was still delicious. <laughs> so anyways, thanks to Lunda Lover for being so generous. Uh, I really appreciated it. And my stomach didn't, but my taste buds did. So that's all that really matters. Uh, Janice, I have to say I love live stream Saturdays, although I'm not opposed to Fridays. It's harder with work. Oh, no, I get it. I, I'm going to try to mix it up. I think the Fridays will be good, but I'll try to do some other ones too. 
um, just to like make sure everybody can be involved. Hey, Diane. Uh, let's see. AGT's in the house. Awesome. Um, let me look at my notes real quick. It's hot. I uh, had the windows cracked, but I'm, first of all, I'm, I'm in a parking lot of like a TJ Maxx and stuff. And I was parked in a good spot away from the freeway noise. And then this guy just parks right next to me about 10 minutes ago, just opens his doors and is just like on the phone, just like speaker phone with somebody just loud as all heck. And just like, yep, 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 blah, 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 talk, 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 like right next to me. And I'm like, bro. And I was hoping he was going to be done and move by now. He's still over there. So I moved my van a little bit closer to like on the other side of the parking lot, but it's closer to the street. So I had to roll my windows up because it's too loud for me. So now I'm too hot, but I have my fan right here in front of me. So it's not the most terrible. Uh, let's see. Yes. Thanks for hanging out on a Friday. Awesome. All right. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, I have a special shout out because a little, some, like somebody told me on a little secret that there's a birthday coming up on Tuesday, a very special birthday. And it's none other than our, our moderator Grant's wife's birthday. Her name's Jackie. So I want to give a huge shout out to Jackie. Uh, it's going to be an incredible birthday on Tuesday. And so I just want to say happy, happy birthday. I hope you have the best, most wonderful birthday. I hope Grant does something nice for you. And I hope you guys either have like a nice dinner or you can just relax. I don't know, whatever you need. I hope you get it on your birthday. So happy birthday to Jackie. Uh, it, it should be an amazing time. All right. Hey, MJ Travels. A financial safety net is essential when on the road. I've traveled without one out of necessity, not fun. That's true. You definitely need a financial safety net. Uh, yeah, everybody give a shout out to Jackie in the comments. So uh, when she watches this later, she'll see it. Um, hey, Jake, how are you? Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, so let me make sure I get through all of these little announcements and then we're going to bring on our mystery guest. Um, hey, Deb R, how are you? Um, I want to, before we get too far into it, because I'm probably going to forget, but I want to wish all the moms a happy Mother's Day for this coming Sunday. Uh, I'm not going to be able to be with my kids, which that sucks. That feels bad. And I'm not going to be able to be with my mom, which also sucks because <laughs> I'm so far away from everybody. Um, but I'll get some FaceTimes going on Sunday and, you know, just, you know, figure it out. And then I'll probably just like maybe get a donut or something like something just to like make it more vibrant or something. Uh, but I hope you guys, if you're a mom, I hope you have an excellent Mother's Day on Sunday. If I forget to say it before this live is over. Um, and the next live stream is going to be, um, next Friday, uh, on the 13th. So it's going to be Friday the 13th and we do have another mystery guest. I know we're on a roll here. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up one hour. So it's going to be at 5 PM Pacific, 8 PM Eastern. That way it gives the East coast people a little, just like a little extra hour because I heard from a lot of people that nine o'clock start time for the East Coast is a little bit rough, which I definitely get that. So we're gonna bump it up just one hour. So it's gonna be on Friday the 13th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So I wanna get that on the books right now. Um, also, I didn't know this, but Fort Collins has a pretty nice food scene. I was looking up some things around here and they have a great downtown area it's right kind of across from Colorado State University or, and there's other places, not just downtown, but there's other restaurants that I want to try out. So I might stay here for a few days because I went to one cafe today and it was great. It was expensive. And that's the thing I got to look out for because some of the places are costly and I'm not trying to spend all my money, but Fort Collins has some great food. So I'm going to stay here for at least a couple days and then I'm going to be moving on to another state. Uh, which I'll let you guys know uh, next week what I did. Um, I know Friday the 13th. Yes, happy, happy, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. 
Oh, Missy, okay, you'll be driving, but we'll catch up after. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, Tracy, how are you? Hey, everyone. Is 5 p.m. an hour earlier than today? 5 p.m. would be, yes, one hour earlier. Yes, one hour earlier. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, I think we've covered all of our notes, so we can actually, like, jump on to the mystery guest. Does anybody want to make a guess of who's going to be the mystery guest? I'll give you like one minute to guess who you think it might be today. Hey, Chosen T Tree Ministry. Chilling at a Walmart lot. Awesome. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. Hey, Donnie, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Happy birthday to Jackie. Um, it's not my dad, George. Uh, can we get hints? Um, it's another man. It's not a woman. It's another man. That's the only hint I'm going to give you. Hey, Rita. Uh, it's not my son. It's not either of my sons. Hey, where's my chicken? Uh, it's not Mickey Mouse. Definitely not. Also, if you guys would like to make a donation to the snack fund, you can do so by hitting the dollar sign under the chat box. Uh, I also have my Venmo and Cash up, up on the screen if you'd like to do that too. Uh, again, donations are never required or anything. They do help keep me on the road, with, especially with gas and stuff. And it's a true blessing. So if you feel like supporting the channel, feel free to do that. I always just say that one time and then we don't bring it up again. But it, it is awesome. If you do make a super chat donation or any donation, then I'll give you a personal shout out. Um, Elton John would be, I mean, that'd be, that'd be serious. Jesus, if I had Jesus on, I'd break the internet because that'd be like the most amazing thing. An ex-boyfriend, that, that would be a good one. I don't know who I could get for, <laughs> for that. That might be a little wild, but maybe in the future. Um, Bon Jovi, dang. Yeah, that might be an interesting one. Um, Carrot Top, is he still doing comedy? That would be awesome too. Grant, it's not you. I'm going to have Grant on another time. Have you seen the new portable AC from Echo Flow? I might have, JC. I, I see a lot of different ads for different things, and I always get confused about which is which, but... Uh, yeah, maybe. All right, so we're going to bring our mystery guest on. Now, this mystery guest also is a YouTuber, has an awesome YouTube channel, and I'm very excited to bring him on. And we're going to be talking about resilience, about, you know, when you're not sure about either getting on the road or once you've been on the road and had some challenges, if you, if you should stay on the road. Um, because I get that question a lot from people. Uh, you know, even if you travel abroad or just if you're not a nomad, but you just do some traveling and you have some hard times and you're like, I'm never doing that again. So we're going to talk about resilience. And I think that's going to be a good topic. It's, it's not you. It's not you, Grant. Um, B. Arthur. Oops, she passed it. Yeah, that would be another hard one. Um, oh, yeah. All right. So without further ado, our mystery guest is Drew from No Can't Fans. Hey, what's good with y'all? What's good? How y'all doing? I don't see your face. I hear you. Oh, that's a that's a crime. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. All right, put it back on again. I think the camera should be on and popping. You see me? Uh, no, I don't see you. Oh, uh, that's a crime. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I should be on deck. I see myself. Oh, you see? Okay, hold on a second. They see you. I don't see you, but... Uh, That's all right. Him? I'm looking at myself pretty clear. I'm I'm right next to you. You don't see me right next to you. I don't see you. I don't see you at all. Uh, I, see a, right. I see a square, but it looks uh, like everybody else sees you. So, That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hold on one second. I don't know what's going on. 
That's classic. I know this. This um. Oh, there you go. I see you now. There it is. Hey, there you go. how you doing? How oh, you good. doing? How are you? All right. So that yeah. was that's the little glitch. But everybody, welcome yeah. Drew from the No Cat No Cat Fat Channel. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Snack pack in the build. What's going down? How y'all doing? Woo -woo. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're good to go. We're good to go. All right, All so right. um, let's see. Change the window settings and the la 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 la. Let's see. Have you seen the new Super Thanks donation feature on? There's a lot of people have the Super Thanks. I don't have it on my channel, but some people do. Um, awesome. Yes, but duck it. We can't say the real thing, but that's something that Drew says on his channel all the time. It's awesome. Um, so you guys, I don't know if you guys may or may not know Drew's channel, but, um, Drew, do you want to just tell them a little bit about your channel, what it's about and you know, how long you've been doing your YouTube situation? All right. So, uh, once, once upon a time I had a dream, right? where uh you know i wanted to travel the world you know and so uh i was in the uh film industry for the longest of times in the uh in the la streets you know uh i went to the i feel like the top the pentacle where i was a cameraman in hollywood boulevard shooting superstars on a daily basis when i say superstars i'm talking about the tv film world superstars and so i was like man um this it you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? So I got I had got one dream accomplished and then I realized this ain't the the end all be all for me. This is not it. You know what I'm saying? So I said, like, let me go ahead and do something different. All I really want to do is travel and create. That's my I mean, that's from the from the get go. And that's the reason why I went to L.A. because I wanted to I wanted to do so, have a new experience have an opportunity to create, you know, which is camera work, editing and stuff like that. And I said, why don't I just make Hollywood, do Hollywood on my own, yeah. you know? And so I decided to go ahead and, and, and partake and travel the United States. There's a lot of places that we can go to in this world, but nobody talks about going to the U.S. of A or traveling around their own states, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and join in on the Wyoming's of the world, the, uh, the Maine's of the world, the, the uh, Illinois, you know? And so let me just do that. And I decided to go ahead and, and, and just travel and, and with my Jeep and rolled out and see where where I can go with it using also my uh, expertise in uh, video editing and, and, and shooting uh, to the, the best the best I can. I hope to make money off of it, you know? So that was the move, right? And so I've, I've been going through the States and doing odd jobs. I've probably done all the odd jobs you can even think of. Yeah. Uh, the, I think the worst one was picking up doo-doo, you know what I'm saying, off the streets, for sure. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, people got to, you know, people got to play soccer. Yeah. You know, the little kids got to play soccer out there. And, you know, uh, little, little, uh, little, little chihuahuas was out there running rampant. Chihuahuas uh, putting down doo-doo bigger than them. You know, it's pretty crazy out there. Uh, <laughs> but you know you got to do what you got to do and that's what i'm all about if you have a goal in mind you should partake in it and uh by any means necessary on some michael make stuff you know what i'm saying so uh there we go that's what i'm all about and uh i don't believe in the word can't i believe everything is possible so uh yeah that's uh, a little bit of my story until we got come up with some more questions I love it so i can go ahead and deeper you know love it and that and that speaks to your humility too because you know, not everybody's going to go ahead and take a job that's doing something that they're like, they feel like it's maybe beneath them. And a lot of times, some of those experiences, the harder things, creates humility in us. And then it helps us to see people in a different light, just in general. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, I mean, I have a college degree as well. So me going out there and doing all these different things and I'm seeing youngsters out there telling me what to do. And I'm like, oh, you know, I probably know a little bit more about the uh, about how to lead more than them. But look, I'm here for a reason with them, and we learned a lot from each other. And uh, it was always a good uh, experience, usually. You know, when I go around and and travel and, and do something new, it always expanded my uh, horizon. Yeah. Uh, especially when I was doing uh, what job was that, man? The construction world. Shout out to them, yo. Shout out to the people that's in the construction world because that is a heavy-duty 
type lifestyle that I couldn't stand doing, most definitely. But I, I did it for the paycheck, <laughs> and that kept the gasoline in the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, thanks for everybody just subscribing to Drew's channel. I see a bunch of people saying they're, subs they're subbing to your channel. Uh, oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. And uh, welcome, Joanne and Deb G. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is a, this is a, good, it's a good thing. Um, the way yes. I found Drew's channel is when I was uh, living in my car. And the one video that just got me is when he was making the one about how to stay cool living in a vehicle. And he pulled out like a plastic pool to dip his, his feet into. And I was like, straight comedy, subscribe. He's my, he's like already, he's my friend. He don't know he's my friend, but he's my friend. And somehow we got connected and we got each other's phone number and we were, we were supposed to get together in Houston, but it was like right when the pandemic lockdown started. And so we missed that opportunity to meet up in person. But Drew's been like on the top of my list of like vehicle dwelling people for a while since, since then. So yeah, it's been great. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Yeah. Hey, Mary Kane. Uh, yes, yes. Um, all right. So, yes, yes. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes. Uh, so, so you know, I, I told you earlier, we're going to talk about resilience because I don't think there's anybody living in a vehicle that hasn't had issues arise, you know. And you're one of the people that I think about that's, you know, just as all of us, you have had you know, letdowns or delays or all kinds of different things happen. And how do you, what, what do you say to people? Like when they say, you know, I can't do that. Or, you know, I had this problem and, you know, it just shut me down and I'm just done. I'm not going to do it no more. Like, how do you help people to understand that you can keep going? Like the resilience that you have? Cause I've noticed that that's a good character trait that you have. Well, uh, whenever you say you can't, you can't straight up and down like <laughs> if you already <laughs> if you already got it in your mind that dog oh, this is impossible plug then you're not gonna it's not gonna make you're not gonna make it possible yeah because you don't believe the person that you're the common denominator in everything you do so therefore if you don't believe no one else does yeah. you know it's not gonna happen for you so therefore if you don't if you don't change your your thought process your internal work and enjoy uh, these moments that we living in right now, then play, you're just going to be like, I, I wish at 70 years old, yeah. you know, and that's just how that life go. And uh, so live that no can lifestyle. Play. That's just, that's just the way the life got to go. And that's the way we got to be. If you're trying to get things accomplished, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's how I feel about that. I, I let them know, Hey, if that's what you believe, play, your belief will come true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's, it's, it's facts. Like if you think, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Then, then you're just going to be done. And then you're going to look up in two more years, three more years. And like, maybe I could have pushed through. You could have, but you didn't, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I, and I do want to say, if you do procrastinate into getting to it, uh, don't, don't get discouraged. It was all in perfect timing. You wasn't ready yet. You know what I'm saying? And now you got the belief. You ready. You try it out. You chipping away like uh, at that wall like Shawshank Redemption. Yep. And uh, and we out here. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just how we do it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> on a quick on a quick side note, uh, JC's asking, which power station do you both recommend and why? Uh, I, I used like a cheap power station for a while in my car. And... I ended up going with the Jackery 240, but 240 was not enough. 240 watts was not enough, and I was trying to be cheap. So I'd recommend that if you're going to go for, like, a Jackery, try to get at least a 500. A, a 1,000 would be better, but I know that's a very costly situation. But uh, I think Jackery is a pretty well, like, a brand name that everyone knows about. Like, what do you recommend? I, I agree with that. Jackery is nice. Uh, I, I forget actually what I had, but it was definitely like a, like 300 watts. And I that was just for my phone pretty much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you might keep your, you might keep your, uh, your uh, computer, your laptop on for a little while, but that's it. It's just about the cute items. You know, you're not mm -hmm. doing anything made, uh, with, uh, with anything else. Uh, story, uh, about resilience. 
Someone stole your uh your boy's uh portable uh charge, you know. Someone stole it randomly uh while I was at work. Uh mm -hmm. when, when my car, my van was down. So, you know, that's just part of the uh the game and part of the lifestyle and yeah, yeah, that's just what it is. Uh but it, I would suggest that a thousand watts most definitely like uh Travel Snack said. Yeah. Um so um Hope is asking, so do y'all think a person can just jump in the car? And take off with no take off with no backup funds. You have funds to go, but no backup money. Like, what do you, what do you think about that? All day, every day, you can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do it straight up. In <laughs> just to let you know, just in case you didn't think, uh, you know, I would say something like that. It's just you can on some uh, Obama quotes out here in these streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like for real, for real. Like uh, when I went out. I didn't have that much money in my pocket. Uh, and I just said, let's go. I did odd jobs, uh, labor ready. I, it's called people ready now. Craigslist. Uh, oh, I, someone needed help in the streets. They had signs up, uh, help wanted. Let me come in here and see because I got, I can, I got expertise. I can do some things. Uh, you never got any dollar bill from anything else but people. Yeah. So the people that you know, the people that you come across is an opportunity uh, 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 waiting. You understand? So uh, there's a whole bunch of people out here in these streets, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't see them. <laughs> yeah. And opportunities uh, are plenty. You feel me? So like, 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 why not? But of course, ride out and, and, and partake in your story, no doubt. And tell everybody how you did it because you can do it. Yeah. Uh yeah, Hope is saying, I am 67. I want to jump in. I'm ready to be free and live. And then she says, I'm feeling it. I am on Social Security, so I do have uh, I do have monthly checks. So, I mean, even that, you know, like, you have a little something coming in. Like, when I, I actually quit my job, I did have a little savings, but I didn't have another job. Like, I didn't have any money coming in, like zero dollars coming in. I was like, listen, I'm going to jump in this car. I'm going to eat cheaply and, like, just be frugal as I can. And by the grace of God, it's going to pop off somehow, some way. I don't know how, but God does. And, and it's going to work out. It like, you have to yeah. have a belief that it's going to work out. Like you said earlier, it's like you either think you can or you can't. And whatever's going to be is in your mind. So yeah. you can do it. Shout out, shout out to you. Uh, this, uh, this 67 years old about to partake and do that. What, what was her name again? My bad. Let me look, let me look up. Huh? Hope. Hope, hope. Shout out to you for going out there and trying to and partaking. Like I remember uh the breakthrough when I was like, man, I need to be doing this is when I was in the Grand Canyon with my me and my little brother. Uh we was out there and it was nobody young out there. It was a lot of older people living that RV life. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, if all the older people's out there traveling around living that RV life, that should tell me that this is what is popping after work Eventually. and i ain't really feeling <laughs> yeah. i ain't feeling work right now you know what i'm saying so like, let me join in and do what my what my elders is doing you know what i'm saying so let me partake and so i yeah 67 is the perfect age to partake in the visual for sure yeah. yes uh mean my cat and also if anybody has any questions feel free you know we're just having a conversation here we're talking about resilience but feel free to jump in with any questions but Mean my cat says, "What do you do without a vehicle, or a, if your vehicle's broken down?" Hey, beautiful! I'm <laughs> here for that. <laughs> my my, uh, my van has been broken down for a uh, year and a half now, about a year and a half, and uh, he messed up something in the engine somewhere where it's just not it's just not uh it's not working no more. The guy that I sent it to, so he was kind enough to go ahead and give me vehicles. I say vehicles because I had a Jeep at first, and then that bad boy broke down, you know? <laughs> so I was just like, yo, what's happening right now? And so, therefore, he passed me another vehicle, which is a, a Tahoe, and I'm riding in that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a whole other story. Like, we can, de we, can, uh, we can dig deeper in that, but right now, uh, as far as just, like, when your car is broke down, there's always opportunities can happen. Uh, I had the I can attitude. I, I believe that something's going to come up. You know, uh, if you if you believe in a higher power, that higher power uh, believes in you. You know what I'm saying? And so, therefore, like, yeah, yeah, you can get it done. You know what I'm saying? Teamwork make the dream work. You, you have the thought process to do it and you wanted to partake. Uh, if, if 
there's people. You got to talk to the people that's out here. There's people around you here to help out. It's not all doomed and gloom. Uh, how they put it are narrated sometimes in the media or whatnot. There's wonderful people out there that's willing to help out. And so all you got to do is just like ask. Uh, or what they got a closed mouth won't get fed out here, you know? That's right. <laughs> yeah, like that's something that I've been talking about a lot more on this channel is like connecting with each other because we're all pretty isolated. And, you know, even me, I'm, I'm, shy, I'm, I'm shy like around new people. Once I'm friends with somebody, I'm, I'm all out. But when I like, I'm, I don't really like to talk to people, but you're right. Like if you don't ask for help or if you don't like put yourself out there, you're just going to be just broke down. You're, you're never going to get, nothing's going to come of that. So you almost have to like, you know, just ask for help if you need help, you know? Um, she loves Cam, wants to know, do you have triple A? Oh yeah, yeah, I do have. I had AAA. I don't have AAA anymore. Good question. She loves Cam. R uh, shout out. What's up with you? <laughs> yeah, I, I also have AAA, um, and it's come through in a pinch. You know, like if if I need a battery jump or like a cart, you know, lock my keys in. So that's that's definitely a good a good thing if you can afford it. Um, also, is there a way around remote work that requires a hardwired connection? Is there a way around remote work? I don't know what that means. Like, I don't think you would need a hardwired connection to do remote work. But let us wow. know more specifically what you mean by that. Hey, V. Um, MJ Travel says, I carry a tent in my van just in case. I mean, that's a smart move, too, you know? I like that. I like that. That's a good move, for sure. Uh, Crystal says, yes, I'm 61 and getting my van ready so I can jump in, hopefully, by the end of this month with a new life. I love it. It's going love down. It. Shout out, Crystal. <laughs> Amen, Reverend RV. Um, hey, Courtney. So, Courtney, AAA and ARP. So, with, with ARP, my parents had ARP, and we were going through some of their bills uh, when my mom got sick and I was like, do you guys really use ARP? And they're like, we use it occasionally for like discounts at Denny's or whatever, but also AAA has those. And I know ARP is like $12 a year or something cheap, but even those little funds, like when you're spending money, you got to kind of look back and go like, even if it's just $12, am I actually using that? So for those of you that are like paying for like all these little memberships, make sure. And also if you do want ARP, you don't even have to be 50. I found this out recently. Like I thought you had to be 50, but it's not like an actual rule. It's just like a suggestion. That's what I read on their website. But yeah, you can use those for discounts, but check into the cost if it's worth it. Uh, Fernando. Hey, Fernando. Uh, I think with the rising cost of rent, more people are considering nomad life. Definitely. <laughs> um, Terry says, I carry insurance with roadside assistance. Yes, that's a good one, too. Grant says, like, working remotely like I do at home. Oh, so, like, yeah, like, you can work remotely and have a hardwired connection, but if you're going to live in a vehicle, that's going to be a lot harder. Um, yeah, I don't know about that, because I've never had experience with having to have a hardwired connection. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about that. You'd have to, like, work, you know, around that situation. Um, all right, so Tracy's asking, she wants the nitty gritty. So Drew, when your van broke down, did you just live in the lone vehicles and is your van working now? So what do you want to say about so, that? Great question. When my, my van broke down, it was in the middle of me working at a uh, chocolate factory. You know, I was, uh, what they call it, uh, whatever you're, uh, you know, what do they call those little chocolates? Whatever it is, the little trays, I put, I, I put the chocolates in the tray. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> Like I was that guy. That like a great job. <laughs> so I, I placed your chocolates in the trays over there at Harry and David. And uh, during that time was the time when my, my car broke down. And so I was living out the car uh, in, a, in a lot and I wasn't going anywhere. And I was riding my bike back and forth. And then, you know, when the parking lot guys, I guess uh, the, the security guards or whatnot, they was like, hey, yo, yo, yo you know, we got we You got to go. And so I was like, uh, okay. But that's when I transferred into uh, the cannabis industry. Uh, I was working at a farm. And so when I was working at this farm, uh, all of a sudden they hooked me up with a, a place to stay for about six months while I was working there. So I was actually paying rent uh, during that time. So I was working 
uh, in the farm, hard labor out there, and then I come to a uh, a house, a, a little room, while my uh, van was down, and then all of a sudden, he, uh, a, you know, he he messed up the guy, the uh, the the mechanic messed up something with my van, and uh, he decided to pass me a jeep, and that's when I was like, I don't need to pay rent no more. I know about these jeeps. I, I've been there, but I, <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. You know what I'm saying? So once he gave me a car, I felt like that was I was free after that no doubt and i roamed the streets strong with that vehicle that vehicle only had like it had like a whole bunch of miles on it but i act like it was brand new and so uh, <laughs> that was my move for sure so when that when my car died that's what happened that's the storyline of how i got uh from place to place it was just like divine how things uh went went about uh yeah. perfect timing for sure yeah. yeah and your van's still not working no, 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 no. I, uh, it's deep in the garage somewhere. It might, it might have a few wasps in there now. Your wasp's nest. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Vlad. You know what I'm saying? Represent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said I'm not. Like I said, I, uh, I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the mechanic because he's doing the best he can. You know, people make mistakes. It's not my, my. A motive to blame, 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 and point the finger when you know there's some reason why I'm here. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I got yeah. to be present and enjoy the moment. Yup, for real, for real. And so there, therefore, like whatever Vlad's doing and this process, he's doing his best. He's making his, he's doing his best he can. He's throwing cars at me. He said, "Please don't yelp me." You know what I'm saying? Don't do me dirty out here, cause he can get done dirty on that yo. Yeah. Full on page. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. You know, but I respect them. And um, like I said, I'm here for a reason. And it's been a beautiful uh, awakening process involved in this uh, scenario right here till this day. Yeah. I mean, that's, an, mm -hmm. that's important to like when hard times come in your resilience to think about, you know, what what's the lesson that you're learning. And, and, and I, I find that whenever hard things happen, I come out of it stronger and next time a hard thing happens, it doesn't feel as bad because I'm like, I've, I've been through this before. I feel I can get through this without a problem. Yeah. It's uh, that's the way it's done. That's the way it's done. Once you've gone through one battle, be like, what's good. I'm tested. Yo, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. I got these scars. They're built up, you know, they just, just that's it. rolling off of me. Strong. Strong. Hey, team is the <laughs> outsider. Um, Courtney wants to know, oh, let me scroll back. Let me scroll back. Let me scroll back. She says, as far as taxes go, what do you guys put for your physical address? Also, you can't be a voter without an address. So what do you do for an address? Uh, so there's all kinds of ways to, uh, to do things. I, I know people, so I, you know, if I need to get something, I can go ahead and ask somebody, uh, for an address. I got a person in talent, uh, gave me uh, a friend in talent that, uh, hooked me up with his address if I need to have anything sent. Um, but there's all kinds of, I think Amazon's doing things. I think you can get stuff, stuff sent to Rite Aid. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to, uh, you know, get your, get your mail. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you got to do is, uh, seek and you shall find. For yeah. sure. I think um, <laughs> you could like if you have a, a family member, you can always ask them to like be able to use theirs for like voting purposes. Uh, I think you have to be a resident, obviously, of that state. Um, but yeah, if you need something delivered, you can do that. Like I, I was even at the UPS store today and I asked them, I was like, there's something I want to order that's not on Amazon. And I was like, I don't know where to ship it. Y'all don't have a, you know, I'm just out here. So I asked the UPS guy, like, can I have something delivered here? And he was like, yeah, in our store, it's $5 to receive a package. That's nothing. So $5 and I can get something delivered to a UPS store. So if there's something that you want, you can actually, you can get it, you know, on the road. It's, it's not as hard. Um, we got a lot of comments about, you know, everybody wants the job putting them chocolate in the trays. That would be like my dream job. But I'm like, hope I would be eating all that chocolate. And Terry's right. <laughs> My dream job would be at Reese's because I'd be, I would, I would gain so much weight working at the Reese's factory. 
would, it would be too it would be too much so i, I want to preference these uh the 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 i the what they call it the glamorized visual of the chocolate factory this is yes. during the time of uh of 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 covid right oh. so your boy was wrapped up like a mummy you understand oh. me like I was wrapped up like a mummy, six feet distance out here. Uh, when you go on break, they got glasses around every individual table out here. Everybody masked up. Nobody really chit-chatting. So your boy was literally on them trays, in them trays only. The wow. trays were my friends, almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because yeah. <laughs> it was such a um, drastic scenario in that. And because it was a change for everybody. And, you know, everybody was nervous. They didn't want to touch nobody. They didn't want to talk. Uh, you made sure you wash your hands. Uh, if you feel like you overdoing it, you should do it some more. That's what they told me, you know. And uh, so, like, uh, I remember there was a person in there. They said they had a nose phobia all of a sudden. And they better not see your nose. So it was, uh, you know, just, you know, the whole chocolate factory sounds nice in the, in the world B B B.C. before COVID. But uh, <laughs> before COVID, but, BC. <laughs> but during the COVID scenario, it wasn't it wasn't sexy, no doubt, no doubt. Oh. Yeah, you ruined it for me, so I'm over it now. <laughs> AC, it's AC now though. It's it's after COVID, so who knows what may happen now? You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gina, I am in Colorado. Um, let's see. So Hope wants to know what are your wheels now. You're definitely definitely blessed, but what do you what are your wheels now, Drew? So it's a it's a uh, what they call it a uh, a Tahoe. It's a uh, Chevy Tahoe, and I respect the uh, the stealthness. Anybody that's interested in the uh, van life, respect wholeheartedly the van life because I'm I was in it, you know. But being a part of this Tahoe, which I lean, I I'm six two and I lay back all the way flat, you know, in this Tahoe. So. Uh, I'm living. I'm living lavish. I feel uh, in nice. in the back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, I always remember uh, a lady came at me uh, in soccer, uh, and I, everybody was playing soccer or whatnot. The little kids and the lady asked me, "Do I have a a son or daughter out there playing soccer? Because they're looking for their coach." And I'm thinking to myself, "I had that van. They would. She would have never came at me like that about some kids. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying?" <laughs> that Tahoe made me look like a family man, and that's what I need. That's what I need out there in the streets, love, because uh, I'm low key stealth, and it's a beautiful thing. So anybody that's interested in the lifestyle, I would go like SUV style a little bit, you know. Uh, but of course, it's don't have. It's not. It's not that glam van life, like they say or whatnot. But uh, it's definitely doable. Definitely doable. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always telling people, like, even to this day, having the luxuries of this van, like a toilet and a sink and all this, I still miss my car because it was so much more compact. People didn't look at you crazy. Yeah. Nobody was worried about nothing. You know, you just roll up in a little parking spot. Nobody's thinking about you at all. Um, mm. And it was just easier to contain everything in my car. Uh, so I'm, I, I'm all, always like, man, should I just, like, dip back into, like, a minivan or an SUV because... It was easier. It was easier to get around. You didn't have to think about all the extra things that's happening. But then I would miss some of the things that I have. So I think you're right. Like that SUV life would be real good. Pros and cons for each side, though. Pros Definitely. and cons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Nelson, how are you? H Hope said she loves your laughter, Drew. It's joyful. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Respect. And Tracy loves your attitude. You are a blessing to the world. Amen to that. Yes, I agree. Hey, it made me feel a like warm and tingly. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, you can also get a mail forwarding service as well. Mm -hmm. DMV will say it's fraud to lie about the physical address, but what about the homeless or nomads? I mean... Listen, I don't live at my parents' house, but that's my home address. You know, I, I go there like whenever I need to replenish, like getting some more stuff from my van or go visit my parents. So you got to do what you feel is more comfortable to you. Like, yeah, they're going to say like, you know, you have to live here for this certain amount of time. But that's the difference of like a nomadic mindset and like a 
structured mindset? Like, what, what do you think about that, Drew? As far as uh, it, seem, it seems like you, you, you really uh, married to having a, a mailing address. And I, and I get that. I get that. Uh, I don't I don't really have uh, those opportunities. I don't, I don't have mail coming in. I don't be thinking about mail. The only time I thought about mail is when uh, I needed some cards to come in. And so that's when I, I just hollered at somebody. I don't be thinking about voting somewhere because I, I don't really be staying at a spot like that. This is probably the longest. I, <laughs> this is probably the longest I stayed in a spot. Uh, not the problem. This is guaranteed the longest I stayed at any spot. I, I I've been in uh states where I was there for maybe a month. You know, uh, moving around, shooting the uh, shooting shots, and on to the next one. So the idea of of uh, uh, of having a uh, an address for the people, uh, it, it just never uh was a, a thing for me. Not not too much. Th it, yeah. it became a thing. When I game became uh, what do you call it stationary, right. and if you become stationary and, and you're not traveling, then I, I I can see that. But I'm I'm letting you know you got friends, you got people you can chit chat with. Uh, I don't I don't think they uh, wouldn't mind some mail coming in that way, especially if you're cool with them. Yeah, yeah, I'd say like the mail has not like it's not even something I even think about. Mm. Uh, you know, it's not a thing. Like the only yeah. the only thing I will tell you a little story. Um, my parents called me the other day because they get my mail and I was just telling them to open it up. I don't care. Uh, they're like, you got a jury duty notice. And I was like, jury duty, bro, I'm not even in California right now. So they took a picture of it and sent it to me. And it was back in April. And I just like spaced out. I didn't even call. And so I ended up looking at it the day after. So I called and they sent me straight to an operator. And, the, mm. and, the, and I was like, I'm calling to see about jury duty. And she's like, that was yesterday. And I'm like, well, I forgot. And I'm not even in the state. And she was like, well, when are you coming back? And I'm like, I don't know. I travel for a living like that. I, I don't know. And she's like, well, you have 90 days and we're going to resend you a new postcard for another thing. And I'm like, well, I might not be there. So I don't even know what the rules are. Like, if you travel, like, what do you want me to do? You know, I'm not there. So like, like I'm saying, like, you know, the mail is not, it's not something like that I even worry about, you know? <laughs> Yeah, give them folks the spirit fingers, man. I, I if they would have yeah. called me over there, look, look, I'm I'm on I'm on the road, player. Find someone else that's in the area, you know. <laughs> Find someone that wants to do jury duty, like some of these, you know, retired people that want to like meet people or whatever. I'm not, I'm not there, so I'm not going to be yeah. a good one for your jury. Um, so Terry wants to know, Drew, do you travel much, or are you staying in one town? So. In a, in a perfect world, I'll be traveling much. Uh, when this one town thing is all, all because of a, of a van scenario. Uh, of course, I wanted to learn some things about farming and things down here as well. But I don't think I'll be here as, as long as I am. Because uh, I've always been on the move. I, I'm, I like seeing new spots, just some things. Even though I, I've been to all, all, like 48 states, there's always places that I didn't go, I didn't get a chance to see. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always with. with I'm, let me go back. You know, let me. Uh, in a new state of, of mine, I'm in. I would like to go back to uh, Nevada or uh, Colorado, or uh, you know, all these different places. Cause three three years back, going to Colorado, that's a different Drew than a Drew now. You know. Yeah. And so I, I, you know, I have a new set of eyes in those areas. So I would move around a lot more. But for right now. The stationary is where I'm at right now, and uh, what they call it, I found joy in the stationary life, uh, living in the wonderful Oregon streets. Yes. So. <laughs> you know, and there's a time and place for everything, and, you know, sometimes you just got to embrace what's happening. Yeah. Hey, Angela, welcome to Travel Snacks, and welcome to the stream. Uh, glad That's you're right. here, and it's your first time, and we welcome you. Uh, Tracy says you ruined the chocolate factory dream for all of us. That was the goal. It wasn't hot. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in there like this. You know what I'm saying? Like they would have noticed that. They would have noticed me coming down like this and eating my my uh, my uh, chocolates. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, chocolates. <laughs> Soon as they saw that, like I said, someone had a nose phobia. So if you would have put your, if you would have tried it. I mean, there might have been some sirens going around, you know, because it was that, I'm telling you, it was that serious on that, on that, and around that time, folk was on their P's and Q's at that chocolate factory. 
But like I said, it might be a little different story. And you might you might can, you know, eat till you uh till you roll time if you want to now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I would have like dipping know. in and then I would have just like went ham and just did it and I'm like, I know I'm fired, but I'm gonna take these as I go. I'm just gonna walk out with this handful. Just leave yeah. me alone and thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> but I have my I have my chocolates. That's it. That's a beautiful it was truffles. That's what I was putting in. I had put the truffles into the um into the uh into the trays and, and it is in the way the thing it's like assembly line too uh so the way it goes you just you got to place them yo there's the, there's the cherry one there's a double chocolate there's you know you got to make sure you put in the right area they double check and they look at you and me mug you if you don't do it right um, so you know you gotta do it right <laughs> they don't play no games travel snacks they don't play no game no games on these streets <laughs> not at all <laughs> uh let's see hey crafty traveler welcome um uh, yeah you're friends with travel grandma awesome i love travel grandma she's got a good uh personality uh, thank you for being here um let's see good vibes here from a mental vivere or viv viver great laughter yes yes amos says drew i've been following you for a couple years i know you traveled to most of the states in the u.s have you made it to all 50. I have not made it to all 50. Uh, one of the biggest dreams I had was going to, uh, that's part of the reason why I want to go to Oregon, because that's like, it's getting close to the area where I want to go. I wanted to travel the uh, the coast going up towards Alaska. Yes. And so that's uncharted territories. Nobody really be chit-chatting about that Canada drive, you know, in that area. And, and I haven't seen a moose yet. You know, and so your boy got to take that pick. You feel me? And so, uh, yes, that moose life. And I seen a bear, uh, but I have, you know, I saw, you know, I saw, I didn't get the video shot that I wanted. I saw the yeah. little lady at the end on my picture shot. But uh, yeah, yeah, my, that's my goal. Seeing some rural areas going up towards Alaska. I have been to Hawaii, but it wasn't like a nomad vibe. I have, you know, I have not been to Hawaii. That's the only state that I have not been as far as like, actually without being a nomad or a nomad you know uh alaska i did film work in I, I i did go to anchorage before and i had reindeer sausage it was exciting when i went over there for sure and uh <laughs> but other than that i have not took the trip nomadically so I, i've been i've been going back and forth should i do a cruise because my dad he was like nah don't 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 do don't do that trip. He was nervy, you know what I'm saying, for me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, nah. He had fear in his heart. And I was like, nah, but that makes me want to go even more, you know, in a way. But uh, I have never been on a cruise, so it could be the move to go on a cruise towards Alaska. Uh, I have my little hesitations because I feel like I'm boxed in, but people say they have the greatest of times in, uh, in cruise ships, and I'm ready. I'm willing to partake in them, in them excellent times. Well, get your get your van fixed or get get whatever you're gonna do so we can. We'll, I'll go with you to Alaska. We'll take a, a little journey. Take the full up, a little journey up up up, the, uh, up to the Alaskas. I'm telling you, that's gonna be epic because I, I they don't show pictures like that. Video camera yeah. shot, you oh, know, man. that's not really a thing too much, yo. And uh, I, I don't think I, I don't think I'll be running roaming around outside like I did. Uh, in other areas, I remember uh, in Wyoming, I had my camera, I had my equipment, and I was like ready to roll. And I saw like a uh, a bear. Bears frequent here, and I passed that up like it was nothing, you know. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> by, by my lonesome, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, the bear frequent here. Okay, we can say what's up to him, you know, because I had no, I, I had to see the shots. But then I was thinking to myself as I walked about a mile in, I was like. Nah, but bears frequent here though. That's like I don't have no bear spray. I don't have. <laughs> no... <laughs> it hit you. It hit you. <laughs> I have not one uh weapon. You know nothing like that because I don't be thinking. Um, so let's talk about the weapon life, uh, right? So I don't really. I know my. Uh, I know people say, "Do you have a weapon or anything like that?" I never had a weapon all through the streets of the United States, and the reason why because my mom put in my in my head that if you if you have a gun with you or something like that then you bringing in trouble if you feel like you have to bring a gun with you to go around to these states or whatnot then i feel like you're attracting it and you will have to use it in a way and so that's how she put i, I guess ingrained in me so i just like 
I just roam the streets and feel like, you know, and, and, and showcase this love and love will, will conquer all. You know what I'm saying? And so therefore, that's why that's how I roamed uh, around the United States. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the goal, though, to hit up Alaska and uh, and see those areas, man, for sure. Yeah, that's a good move. That's a good move. Um, Alunda Lover says, Bob Wells bought land for 2K to have an address and a place to settle. I mean, that's, if you can, if you can get like a little spot, you know, a little piece of land just to have on the side, that's always a, a nice thing to have as well. Superstar status. Hey, for bud, sure. Sabbath. Uh, let's see. Lunder Lover Drew is in Oregon right now. Mm -hmm. um, travel Grandma says, just travel for your, you travel for your own business. Uh, let's see. Jury duty. Let's see. Happy Friday. To, uh, let's see. Ah, hey, Evelyn. Hold on, scrolling back. Let's see, let's see. Hey, my girl Rachel Luna's in the house from Girl Confident. Hey, Rachel, we got to catch up soon. She's one of my good friends and she's in Florida and I miss you, Fred. Oh, she's coming through with the 1999 in the house. I'm gonna give her a, a shout out, shout out. She just recently had a birthday too. So everybody wish Rachel a, a happy belated birthday. Uh, let's give you. I'm gonna give a, uh, her a hallelujah because she's, you know, a blessing. She's happy. Hey, Rachel's in the house. Ooh, ooh. Um, yes, a Angela says Oregon is beautiful. Um, oh. let's see. Angela says, thank you. I'm a regular from Tim's channel. Uh, and Tim was on last week. We had a great time, too. And Tim and Drew are friends, too. So we're all friends. That's my boy. Yes, we <laughs> Tim. <laughs> and in fact, the the 61 of you that's on here, uh, we're not going to give out too many details, but uh, me and Drew are working on a project, too. So it, it's coming. It's coming soon. So uh, if you like this conversation, that we're having now and you like drew which who wouldn't like drew but also oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna have some fun times coming up with some projects so it's, it's gonna be nice okay. it's gonna be real fun that's my water alarm we have a water alarm so you gotta drink your water you stay hydrated. oh shoot you can't you can't throw with a big jug <laughs> i saw you i saw you I saw you and Tim holding it down with that water, so I was like, let me pre prepare, you know? Oh, sure, you just showed me up. I got to get serious. I got my little jug. You got a, you got a gigantic just jug up out here. Uh, that's the way. That's the way. That is. Oh, that is. Hey, that's the way to do it, to stay hydrated so you don't pass out. No, no doubt. No doubt. Yes. Okay, Uh, let's see. Yes, don't know hype. That's the donation hype. Let's see. Um, Jonah Jolie says, lived in Oregon, Tigard or Tigard, or, uh, Oregon City, Clackamas, can't stand the gray. Oh, I love gray days. Has it been pretty rainy up there, Drew? Uh, there's up and down. So, so, so uh, there's rainy days and then there's, there's all of a sudden, uh, it can be, that can last for about two to three hours. And then all of a sudden it's summer. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it all depends. Uh, right now it, it had a little rain earlier. But now it's kind of coming down. I think it's going to stay daylight till about nine o'clock. So you will see nice. me looking like it's uh, it's, uh, it's noon over here. And I know it's probably pitch black in some of y'all areas right now. Yes. Yep. But, uh, yes. I love it. Uh, Travel Grandma, you're visiting tra uh, Crafty Traveler's home right now. That's awesome. I love when people get together. Um, let's see. Hey, Sammy. Buenas noches. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Alaska, got to do it. Definitely. Definitely. Oh. It's on my list. One of my cousins lives in Alaska, so I'm in, I'm trying to get there to see her as well. Uh, let's see. Gina says there's a guy in Oregon that builds out buses into travel nomad buses. Ooh, that sounds that sounds awesome. Mm. Uh, you can go to Wyoming or Montana to see moose. Definitely. Colorado yeah. has moose. Yeah. Yeah, Grace I was says, there. Yeah. I was yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. 
I wasn't lucky enough to see those mooses at the time I went to uh, Montana and yeah. uh, Wyoming. But uh, yeah, I still had a great time. Yeah. Yeah, I still not. Grant's in Canada. He said, we had moose walking through our neighborhood last week. Dang. Come on now. Come on. Them bad boys, I heard they was big. Like, ain't they about 11 feet tall? Like, <laughs> it, they sound huge. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, be in, involved with, but I would like to see it, but I don't want to get killed too, you know? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want no drama. We don't want no, no drama. I, I did look up how to get away from a moose. I think he's supposed to be uh behind a tree. Cause I, you know, I'm prepped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go behind a tree. Cause like, they like to go straight forward. And so if you give them a, like a little obstacle and stay behind that obstacle, you know, you're going to, you're going to be all right. You know, this is moose. Uh, what they call it? Moose. Keep away from the moose conversation that we got going on. And I yeah. want to give out this information just in, case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Straight up. Okay. Robbie wants to know what's reindeer sauce. A uh, reindeer sausage is uh man, I think they're reindeer that's getting killed out there and uh and used I don't know what part of the body, but no it's a tasty part of the body, if that make any sense. Uh so that's what reindeer sausage is, like deers that's out there uh pregnant oh, sausage. in sausage. I thought you were saying yeah. sauce, like just like Oh, my oh, bad. I didn't put the age. I didn't put the age in there sausage. though. <laughs> I'm a pronunciate. My bad. Pro reindeer sausage. That's what oh, I would nice, eat. Nice, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mean my cat says, "Don't moose kill more people than bears?" I don't know. But I mean, don't don't mess with a moose. That's all I'm saying. They they don't they uh yeah yeah yeah. If they if they got just like the uh the bears and their little cubs, don't if they if the little baby moose is around, go ahead and get get to a safe spot. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, Cash App Crystal Reels just sent $10 for a treat or coffee. I love it. Ooh -hoo. Let's give you an explosion. Oh. Thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate it. And another Crystal, Crystal and La Gringa, a $9.99 coming through with a super chat in the house. Let's give you... I love it. Thank you so much. Both crystals. You guys are blessing. Thank you so much. That that's awesome. Okay. Um Crafty Traveler wants to know, do you know the difference between a reindeer reindeer and a caribou? Uh, no. No. I do not. <laughs> not even so caribou, I think that's my second time hearing that. I think I heard it before once. But now you 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 brought it back into my life and I appreciate you. What is a caribou? <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna be out out in the wilderness and get hit up by a caribou, and we won't know it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just take a picture, and then somebody else gonna tell me what it is later. I guess. Yes. Uh, Crafty Traveler says I've been on two Alaskan cruises, and they were great. Ooh, that sounds awesome. No doubt. Um, let's see. Travel Grandma says, I'd love to go to Alaska. It's the only state I haven't been to yet. Yeah, we need, that'd be cool to have a little caravan going up. You know, that would be nice. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be epic. I'm a, I'm a fan of camping too. Uh, That camping scenario. So I heard the road is like, uh, there's not too many places to stop for gasoline. I hear that you right. got to go ahead and fill up, got to get you a couple canisters of gas or whatnot yeah. to make sure you get to your location because it's a, uh, it's rural. It's uh, it's, it's desolate out there. Not so, uh, <laughs> and I feel like that that's gonna be epic. When you see less people and more animals, that's a different world out there. It's it's gonna be our our personal Africa going up, <laughs> going up I there mean, to uh, through Canada and stuff, man. For real. Yes. Let's see. Oh, mean my cat says I crawled up the side of a hill to get a quartz rock not thinking anything and i found out later that place was crawling with rattlesnakes mm, that's, no, that's no, no, no. Good, no the good thing about rattlesnakes is that they do rattle let you know that they come and so if you i i saw that in a, on a hike trip a couple times where you know that rattlesnake comes and you hear it you like oh okay then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Let me, thanks for the warning <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me figure out a way to dodge this bad boy then. My bad. I mean, your yes. area. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Lunda Lover says, no gun for me, just protective dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that dog life is, is, is interesting. It's interesting, but then I, that's, that's another life to take care of on the road out there, you know, uh, for sure. And so, uh, I, I do, I, there's pros and cons on having a dog out there. I just, uh, it never passed my, it, it crossed my mind one time. That's it. Yeah. That was my, it was my ex at the time. Why don't you have a dog with you? And I'll just like, nah. <laughs> it's, a to think about. It's, it's a lot to think about. Cause that's like you said, it's one more real life to think about as Come you're on. Roman. And if you go try to work somewhere, who who gonna yeah. take care of the dog? You know? <laughs> that's extra. That's Come on extra. now. Yeah, man. HDJKSA52 says, yo, no can't fant. Hey, what up, dude? Um, Terry's Tenacious says she's excited to watch your travels. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm glad that you partake, and I appreciate you and uh, and your presence on that channel, for sure. Uh, Gina K. Land is coming through with the $10. Uh, a snack and a coffee. Well, maybe just the coffee, but Starbucks. I mean, that's facts, but still. I love it. Oh, uh, rain down on this young lady. Down. I love it. I love it. <laughs> also, thank you guys for wishing my friend Rachel a happy belated birthday. I love it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Love for the super chats. Uh, yes, everyone's down for this collaboration that we got going soon. Um, okay, Amos is asking, what does Drew enjoy doing in his free time in Oregon? And as you're answering that, I'm going to move to the back and turn the light because it's getting dark up here. Okay. Okay. So what I like to do is uh it's it's definitely partaking the visuals. I'm every morning I, I found a way to dip my feet into somebody's water, into somebody's lake, somebody's creek, some type of dirt, and just chill. You understand? And and, and, and listen to those sounds. Be present. And uh nature is like a uh, what they call it, a, a lost life. You know, they try to hold us in and try to tell us to keep it and stay inside or whatnot. But I feel like nature's where it's at. That's where the health is at, you know. And so I'm always, always in some, somebody's park, roaming around uh, and uh, and just taking it all in. Uh, real soon, I will be starting the camp life. I will be bringing out the tent because that's needed out there and, and, and learn how to really uh, my I grew up doing camping. So that's part of my reasoning of uh, who I am. Because of of my uh, my dad, my dad was a uh, Eagle Scout, and my first camp trip was at three years old, and so I'm always I, the nature life has always been in my life, and uh, I enjoy uh, being uh, in the uh, ambiance of that. And so if I can be in that, I have spent whole days doing that, no doubt. I have actually uh, <laughs> there's been times I actually slept on the ground chilling, yo, relaxed. You know, I, I know it sounds like what you doing. But I'm chill. Like I'm when you hear uh, the nature sounds and things like that, it's the most relaxing scenario of all times, man, for real. And uh, I, 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 I seek that, especially when I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, one of the great things about uh, Nomad or van life or whatnot, you know, these big old houses that you see, the big mansions that got, you know, 300 million to be right by the beach. I stop right next to that beach, man. Put my park my vehicle. I'm closer than them. I'm closer to the beach than them, and I'm taking in all that sound. Yep. You know, yes. let the window crack a little bit. Well, let me tell you something about my sleep during that time. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty epic, yo. You you talk about uh, headphone noise with your with your nature sounds. Nah, nah, check that natural stuff out, uh, stuff out, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. that's where it's at, and uh, the the opportunity and the benefits of that because of this lifestyle, it's it's hard to avoid. It's hard to just let go of uh, that, that freedom of uh, of being a part of that, and why everybody, you know, probably trying to work for to keep their materials. Yeah, player, 
I got what I got, and I'm here where, where I'm at, you know? And I'm relaxing and taking it in and uh, living my life like it's golden. And so that's what I like to do is, uh, yeah, yeah, enjoy the uh, the nature in life, for sure. I mean, it's important to remember that a lot of times we're, we're trying to buy experiences and we mm -hmm. forget that there are natural experiences out there to be had. And it's it's when you finally get out there like, oh, there's so many other things that I could have been doing that I've been trying to pay for these all these like spa days, you know, getting massages. And those are things are nice. Don't get me wrong. But there's hot <laughs> springs out there. There's like some, you know, like you said, nature sounds. It's just peace. It's just peace mm -hmm. in your heart and your mind, you know. Uh I'd like to give a shout out to Diane for the gas money, $10. Thank you, Diane, so much. Let's give you, I'm going to give you a yodel. Thank you, Diane. Thank you very much. Man, throw that money out of yo. Keep throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crystal, it's the same Crystal. Okay, awesome. Thank you for clarifying. Um... You would need a passport. Yeah, you'd need a passport if you're going to go through Canada. Uh, let's see. Tracy uh, says, we got some of the most poisonous snakes and spiders here in Australia. You sometimes can't see them before they bite. That's Ooh. terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's... Uh -huh. Gina says, I appreciate the rattle. Like the warning, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Crafty Traveler says the Alaskan Highway has had changed a lot and each little community has amenities. I had a friend and her sister who were 69 and 70 that took their motorhome with no problems. What? A motorhome? So, so they, them streets are a little cleaner. I heard them streets was not even smooth. Like it's like it's potholes and you joining in like you horse riding or something down, down the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So they put some cement down. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we that makes up. it nice. Yeah, we moving on up out here. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Robbie. So Robbie's one of our moderators, and he says, hey, guys, you know I donate at the last minute, which is facts. Every time at the very end, you donate some. Can you guys mm. guess my donation tonight? Nice. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, HDJ says, when are either of you guys headed towards Michigan? You know what's so funny is everybody was telling me I should go to Michigan. Um, there's a lot of people in Michigan that want, you know, me to come out there. They want you to come out there. It'd be a good trip. Michigan, Michigan is a beautiful area. I had a good time over there. I knew some people over there in Detroit, actually. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't go see them. I didn't get a chance to go see them, but uh, I think the most memorable thing about seeing uh, about Michigan for me was uh, seeing a black black squirrels. You know, I don't know, I don't see them bad boys like that. <laughs> what is that black rat doing on the ground right there? What's happening right now? But they said it's a squirrel, and uh, yeah, 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 that was life changing in a way. You know what I'm saying? I never knew. I never knew. Yeah. Me and my cat says I listen to th thunderstorms to sleep. That I love thunderstorms. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah, that rain sound, that rain. That's you know that's automatic. If it's raining, I know that sleep gonna be epic. No doubt about that. If it's raining uh, in the nighttime, yeah, for sure. The acoustics, baby. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Those are the benefits. Um. Let's see. All right. So. Awesome. Let's see. Hold on. All right. So we're going to switch gears and we're going to play some games. We have nice. two questions. So, Drew, what we do here is we wrap up the live stream by playing uh, Would You Rather. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a question with two choices. Now, these are just fake questions. They're not real life. But I just ask two uh two choices and then we're going to wait for everybody else in the chat to answer before you answer and before I answer. So when I ask it, just think about what you want to say gotcha. and then yeah, we'll go, we'll go from there. Uh, oh, five dollars come from Terry Tenacious. Hippo character is the, uh, it's the applauding hippo whilst nodding in approval saying GG. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm going to give you, let's see. Oh, Thank 
you, Terry, so much. I appreciate that. Thank nice. you so much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. The, let's see. All right. So we're going to play this game. Um, all right. So the first question, the first question is, would you rather, would you rather have your, like, for one month, have your mouth taped shut or your hands tied behind your back for one month, one month straight? <laughs> Neither are great choices, but which one would you rather? So we're going to let everybody in the comments answer first and give your reasons why you would choose that. Because sometimes you guys give the idea, like the reasons, and then I'm like, ooh, that makes me change my mind. So, because like right now I have something in my head, but I could change depending on what people say. All right. So Robbie coming through straight off with he'd rather get his mouth taped shut. Uh, same with me and my cat and Hope. Um and Angela and Unsolved with Barb and Lunda Lover. AGT says, I need my arms for making money. I mean, that's facts. Terry says, neither. You got to play the game, Terry. <laughs> Travel Grandma says, mouth tape shut. Tracy also is with that. I think almost everybody, I don't know one person, is anybody coming to come through and say that they'd rather have their hands tied behind their back? <laughs> Let's see. How the heck how the heck am I going to eat with my mouth taped shut? <laughs> Hope says I can finally lose weight. Uh, Fred says, would you rather sandpaper? Uh, okay, I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to read that. Uh, mouth taped shut. You can talk with your hands. Uh, can't drive with no hands. Mouth shut. Me too, Robbie. Boop, boop. All right. Is everybody answered that wants to answer? Some of these don't even make sense because I, I look them up on, on the Googles and then it's like people are asking all these kinds of questions. Uh, okay, okay, we have Reverend RV coming through with, I'd rather have my hands tied behind my back. A guy's got to stay hydrated. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, okay then. Got to stay hydrated. <laughs> That's cute. That's our cue right there. I see, I see. <laughs> That's clever. The crafty traveler, hands tied if I had someone to feed me and wash me and clean my butt. <laughs> <Ooh -wee. laughs> Goodness. All right, so what do you say? What What's your answer, Drew? What do you think? Uh, there's no way uh, uh, I'm having my hands tied behind my back. No doubt. So I, I'd rather keep my mouth shut. Uh, these hands were made to create. Uh, and do a lot more things. I mean, if you if you can believe and put it in your hand, I mean, you it, if you can believe it, you can put it in your hand. So the idea of living this life without using these 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 beautiful tools that we have. Speaking, uh, I know a guy. He did a uh, what they call it three years without even talking. You understand? Like he literally mute. There's monks out there that be on mute and they living their life like it's golden. So the uh yeah I I feel like you, you gotta automatically to me close that mouth because you can there's a lot more things to learn when you're more and when you're more in tune and listening you know you can yeah <laughs> you can be quiet and listen and enjoy your life man as long as your hands is right you good yes yeah like you know I'm the same I, I'd obviously choose the mouth tape shut because. People do like people fast for like 30 days straight. Oh. You'd have to drink water of some sort. Like you'd have to be able to like sip, sip or like whatever, because yeah. you can't. <laughs> IV. Oh, you, can yes. <laughs> you could get an IV or some other. <laughs> you could, you could get like a hydration pack or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, people be out here, you know, doing all kinds. Like you said, the monks, like people do fasting whole things you know out in the wilderness right. all these things uh you could do it and also like you said if you go like i've been on two silent retreats and i'm telling you like you think you i went went for like three days one time thinking i'm not going to talk at all at all and i was whispering to myself because we're so used to hearing ourselves talk like mm. i'm like what did i just say that for I'm, nobody's around i'm just talking to myself and it's it's harder than you think when you go silent so it, it's a good exercise if, if anyone ever gets an opportunity to like even like for one or two days to just shut up, it really will make you like think about how much you use your mouth all the time. 
And also on that on that subject, uh, dry fasting. I have done dry fasting before for about it was a forty eight hours. Yeah, it was oh. forty about two to three days. I dry fast where I didn't drink. Uh, I didn't have no water or food. It was an experience. It was an experience. I went, <laughs> but people uh, find health benefits in that, you know. And so uh, there's all kinds of ways of you don't have to use your mouth like that. You breathing through your nose, everything's good. Uh, this is just an extra bonus right here. You know what I'm saying? True. So <laughs> that's true. That's You're gonna be point. good. <laughs> yes, yes. Diane says you could use a straw. I mean, that's true. You could use a straw. <laughs> Terry says I'm alone, so I don't talk a lot. Robbie, I'm gonna guess your donation is gonna be five dollars. That's my that's my guess. All right, so let's do the last question. Now, before we do the last question, uh, Drew, where can people find you on the interwebs? Like, where do you uh, want people to find you? Uh, YouTube for show uh, at No Can Fan, and then Instagram I frequent at No Can Fan. But uh, I got a TikTok out there uh, called For Duck It. Uh, so that's I that's. Uh, on the, <laughs> hold on a second. Hold hold up. What? You're on the TikToks. Yeah, I'm on the TikTok uh, for duck it part of uh, the F A D U K I T. Uh, I had it at No Can Fan at one time. TikTok is an interesting space, no doubt about that. Uh, when I had it at No Can Fan, I did a uh, a video that they 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 barred. They they said it was horrible, like as far as X rated or something like that, and they banned my uh, name off of it and that's just not even my style i seen too many too many uh half naked women on deck on tiktok you know <laughs> for me and it was and it was a snippet uh, uh a sound bite that they use and i decided to play with and i you know i had i had my shirt off at that time no doubt but it wasn't like it wasn't <laughs> but it wasn't like distasteful you know what I'm saying? Like, how, <laughs> how they did me was kind of, like, dirty. So, you know, No Can Fan is not on, uh, it has been banned from TikTok. And so I had to switch it up with the bucket. And that's F-A-D-U-K-I-T. Oh, it's F-A, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F-A-D. There we go, let's there see. Is, there it is. Oh, I see you. I'm going to follow you right now. All right, did I follow back for facts? Uh... Yeah, the, TikTok's a funny TikTok's a funny place because you different users have like different permissions. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like cuz I see girls, women and men just showing the most, like the men with their little hip bones popping out like they're getting real close to that little line right down there. I'm like <laughs> Ryan, What they call it? A little teasy right there, you know, and they don't ban those people. <sighs> They did me there. I don't know what happened that day. Somebody was mad that day for some reason. They just said, you know what? I'm going to take it out on No Can Fan, yo. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? And so it is what it is, man. Uh, I learned that day. But they really serious about that. They pick and choose. Uh, they, they, they banned a lot, of, a lot of things that I put out. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, uh, you can drop it like it's hot on there, though. Just guarantee you can still be on there dropping it like it's hot on TikTok. No doubt about that. Yeah. Just putting those videos out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Crazy. Yeah. Drew's last name is Fant, if you guys are wondering. Uh, yes. That's why it's No Can't Fant is his last name. Yes. Um, okay, so we're going to go with our last uh, question. And um, the next, the final question is going to be, okay, so this is going to be, a little out there but would you rather come across an alien that's like non-violent these are non-violent characters an <laughs> alien or a ghost so this this alien is going to kind of like you know start hanging out with you all the time or it's going to be a ghost that's going to hang out with you all the time they're non-violent so it's fine but in the comments i want you guys to tell me which one would you rather encounter it's just fake too guys i don't believe in aliens or ghosts but it's just a fun game so let's just calm down uh so it's just a fun game so which one would you rather would you rather you know come across like like et like you you would be the one to discover like this alien or you discover a real ghost which one would you rather uh let's see 
Okay, Robbie's coming through with Alien. Hope's coming through the Alien. Me and my cat, Alien. Terry's going with Ghost. Maddie G. Van Lifer is going with Alien, hands down. Travel Grandma, Alien. She loves Cam, Alien. Amos, Alien. Tracy Week says Alien because no, wait, because no one would be able to see me talking to a ghost. That's a good point. Uh, let's see. Reverend RV, I'd rather come across the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen on that. <laughs> uh maddie g just the thought of a ghost creeps me out hot tiger says neither angela says ghost diane says ghost uh grant says alien uh let's see hold on a second let's see um let's see that's a good question, though. Let's see. Alien could... Uh, Lunda Lover says, Alien, that could communicate with me. Thomas also is going with that Holy Ghost. Mm. Uh, let's see. Great Lakes Girl says, Ghost. And Missy says, Alien. Um, and, oh, Angela says, what about an alien ghost? Ooh, different. That's, that's, that's real different. That's, that's on a different level. That's on a different <laughs> level. <laughs> Oh my! All right, so Drew, would you? Oh, rather... so, so for me, I'm gonna have to go with the alien. Uh, there's no way. Uh, what I'm trying to introduce. Let me introduce it to the family. You know how you gonna shake my shake the ghost hand, y'all? How you gonna come in for the real thing? You know, I I, <laughs> I don't want you to look some some little head moment around me like yo, this is my ghost friend right here. He, he a little wild, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I need them to be right there so you can go ahead and get that that come in for the real thing, shake hands. This is my homie right here. That's what it's all about. Yes. Okay, so me and my cat says, don't aliens go to a different afterlife? I mean, I don't know. That's a good I don't know about that. <laughs> um, let's see. Marianne's going with Alien. She loves Cam. Ghost is from the past. Alien is an, from another world I could learn from. Uh, mm. Talking to aliens makes you look crazy. <laughs> Crystal says a ghost. Uh, let's see. Ed, Tracy's agreeing with you. And then Reverend says science will eventually prove that we're all the life, that we're all the life in the universe there is. Oh, okay. So I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree with you on this one, Drew. I think that I would rather go with a ghost because hear me out. Mm. You see what happened on the ET that the government got involved and started like, you know, experimenting on the alien. They're going to take your friend away because people get crazy. So your alien friend is going to get like dissected. So mm. as soon as somebody knows about it, unless your family is just like not going to tell nobody, the the alien is going to get taken away. You know, then mm. it's going to be sad. You're going to cry. It's going to be a sad day. But a ghost, that's like your friend. That's your homie. Like, you know, and you can encourage that ghost to go to the light. You know what I'm saying? Like you could encourage, get on to the afterlife. And also, you know, if they don't go to the, the light, then you could have like a little ghost friend and they can come and go. So they're not always mm -hmm. around you all the time. But you got to take mm -hmm. care of that alien, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they don't have the closed mouth. You know what I'm saying? They got to get fed some type of way, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. I respect it, no doubt. I like Lunda, the move. <laughs> Lunda Lover says you can learn so much from the alien. That's true, too, though. You could learn, like, if they're coming from, a, like, a different situation, um... Angela says, what if we are the aliens? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, me and my cast says, I can't look at the galaxies and the main galaxy string from the Hubble and think that there are only galaxies within intelligent life. Okay, well, that's too deep for me. But also, okay, so we're going to get ready to wrap it up. But before we do, if you are a YouTube creator or a creator on Instagram or TikTok, post your, uh, your channel name in the comments. Uh, because we like to celebrate new creators or, you know, people that are trying to do their work out in, in the world. Uh, so if you have a channel that you're proud of, you know, throw it up on the chat. So we'd like to, to you know, have everybody follow if you'd like. Respect. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Travel Grandma. Angela says, mic dropped. Um, Robbie's going to do his donation. Hey. Uh, let's see. Uh, me and my cat, they probably learn about us from our television signals and are preparing to contend with the Dukes of Hazard. 
Oh, she I mean, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> may be. Uh, a, awesome. A so, yes. So, first of all, as everyone's dropping their channels, I'd like to say a gigantic thank you, Drew, for coming on with me today, for sharing it's the okay. live stream with us and all your experiences and wisdom and everything. And I'm really looking forward to our project that's coming up. For sure, for sure. It's been a pleasure. No doubt. I'm glad to partake in a wonderful uh, live that we have chit chatting with the snack pack. It's a beautiful thing all day, every day. And I, I don't mind coming back. No doubt if it's possible, you know, but we got plenty of projects coming up and uh, y'all, y'all stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. You're welcome <laughs> back anytime. Of course. Hey. You're, you're a friend of the snack pack. You're a friend of mine. So, you know, you can come back anytime. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Um, nobody wants to drop their YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Grant posted travel grandma's channel. So that's nice. I see you. I see you. Travel grandma. I, I met travel grandma at the RTR in Arizona. Uh, she's got a nice, nice setup and great personality. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I you know, got a I lot like of new you. subs and, uh, okay. So the next live stream is going to be next Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's going to be on Friday the 13th, and I do have a guest already. Um, yes, thank you guys so much. All right, so um, I just want to say that if anybody hasn't told you today, um, I love you. There's people out there that care about you uh, in the world. Um, if you're out there and you're feeling isolated, make sure that you reach out to somebody there is always somebody that will be willing to give you a hug willing to talk to you uh you just have to reach out and grab somebody and let them know you you know you want to be part of humanity we're so isolated so i just want to tell you guys that you guys have a family here at the snack pack and i appreciate each and every one of you for being here for sharing your time for the donations for the love for uh, you know, being so gracious to our mystery guest. Um, so I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, we're gonna wait one second for Robbie's last donations as he likes to wait till the last second. Um, oh yeah, Deborah on the go, Deb G, she, she has a channel, so definitely go subscribe. Um, Great Lakes Girl, you're so much fun. Allison, I love your bubbly. Thank you so much. Uh, Lunda Lover on YouTube, go follow Karen at Lunda Lover. Uh, Crystal and Lagringa is Crystal Lagringa, and awesome. All right. Um, okay. So, come on, Robbie. We're gonna wrap it up for the night. <laughs> oh, it's it's come. It's it must be a lump sum. <laughs> Keep putting a lot of zeros down, baby. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, listen, even if it's a dollar, that's that's for the oh, gas. You know, you know how it is with this gas out here. Oh, uh, come on now. There's not playing. No. Oh yeah, Terry's Tenacious has a channel as well. Um, thank Shout you, Grant, for posting me, uh Deb's uh link. Um awesome, definitely. Whoa, AGT oh, coming through with the fifty dollars. Oh, oh baby. Riding a firework rocket disappearing away before the burst in the sky. I love it. Damn. So wow. That's, that's very nice. Let's give you let's give you uh I'm gonna give you, give you like a, a, a few of them. I'm gonna give you a party horn. <laughs> hey. Hey. <Yes. laughs> Thank you so much, Robbie. I appreciate Thank you very you. much and for being such a great moderator along with Grant. Thank you guys so much. Much love to all of you guys. Thank you again, Drew. I'll be talking to you very yeah. soon. And until next time, next Friday, bye for now.